This is chapter 1 physical quantities and units AS physics and these are learning outcomes after completion of the topic you will be uh, able to solve the questions or the understanding related to these learning outcomes. Starting with physical quantity very, the very first concept you people must have. Physical quantity is anything that has a unit and a magnitude. Uh, I've given an example 5 kg is uh, an expression in which you can see 5 is a number a number is called a magnitude while kg is a unit every physical quantity must have a magnitude and a unit for example if you quote 14 years of age so 14 is actually the magnitude and years is the unit anything that can be measured and has a unit is called a physical quantity what uh, is not a physical quantity is for example emotions you cannot tell any person that how much angry or how much happy you are today as compared to yesterday you can just give a qualitative analysis that you are much happier today as compared to the previous day but you cannot uh, give a magnitude to your happiness for example you cannot say I am 50 smileys happy today and I was 40 smileys happy yesterday so this is something which is not a physical quantity anything that has a physical quantity must have a unit and a magnitude uh, let me give you one more example efficiency is um, not a physical quantity because it is just a ratio you cannot write a unit with it it's just a number when you divide output energy to the input energy you just get a ratio of the two energies so there are five there are seven base physical quantities base means foundation and it means every physical quantity you will learn uh, except these will be derived from these physical quantities these are base physical quantities they are not dependent upon any other physical quantity but all the physical quantities other than these will be dependent upon them so you can call these seven base physical quantities as pillars of physics if the, there are no, uh, no f f base physical quantities in physics you will be uh, you will s uh, see that there is no physical quantity remaining after eliminating these from them so there are seven base physical quantities the physical quantities that are in blue these uh, are the quantities that are most important you, you will be studying these physical quantities and uh, you can say deriving um, SI base units for the physical quantities while these two will just be used as um, in naming them they are not part of your syllabus you will not be studying these two names uh, of the physical quantities in your entire syllabus other than naming them in base physical quantities every physical quantity has um, so many units but every physical quantity has a system international or SI base unit uh, the international units are important because these facilitate you to communicate uh, when you are talking with anyone outside your country as you can see that uh, in UK they use miles per hour in speedometers but we use here kilometers per hour in speedometers so different uh, physical quantities may have different units in different countries but when we are uh, talking about international level we have to use a specific unit for specific physical quantity so length will always be measured in meters similarly mass is measured in kilograms time is in seconds temperature is in Kelvin electric current is in ampere luminous intensity is candela amount of substance is mole every physical quantity will have a specific symbol for example meter has a symbol M Kilogram is kg, second is s, kelvin is k, ampere is a, candela is cd, mole is mol. Now prefixes. In English grammar prefix is a word that you uh, add, to a, add uh, before a word to make a new word. For example, possible is a word if you add m before it so it becomes impossible so m is a prefix for possible and m actually makes the possible impossible so there are uh, these prefixes these prefixes are actually added before 
the units so that they give the, the units a new meaning. Pico is uh, exponent minus 12, the symbol is small p. Nano is exponent minus 9, the symbol is a small n. Micro is exponent minus 6, mu is the symbol. Milli exponent minus 3 is the value, small m is the symbol. Centi exponent minus 2 is the value, small c is the symbol and so on. Now talking about conversions, 1 centimeter because uh, since it is not in SI unit, centimeter is not in SI unit so you have to convert it into meters before proceeding to any calculations related to the question. So you have to convert centimeter into meter. Centi has a value of exponent minus 2 so instead of centi you can write exponent minus 2 since centi is part of magnitude not part of unit meter is the unit of uh, length centimeter is not so centi is part of magnitude so you will eliminate centi from the unit and you will make it part of the magnitude similarly one millimeter can be written as one exponent minus three meter because milli is exponent minus three now in the third example seven microseconds micro is exponent minus six so you will write seven exponent minus six seconds one ex, uh, centimeter square you have to convert it into meter square as you can see centi is exponent minus two but the power is two so centi exponent minus two and the square becomes exponent minus four the power on a power is actually multiplied exponent minus 2 is actually squared so it will become exponent minus 4 similarly 1 millimeter cube milli is exponent minus 3 cube will multiply the minus 3 will 3 so it will become 1 exponent minus 3 now in this example there is something special in this example we are actually adding prefix to uh, the unit in the previous examples we were eliminating prefixes now in this example we are adding the prefix in the unit it's written 700 gram but we have to convert it into kilogram in this pr uh, example we are adding kilo with gram in order to add a prefix you have to divide the magnitude with the value of the prefix kilo is actually exponent 3 so you will divide 700 with exponent 3 700 will be divided by exponent 3 to make it kg so it will become 700 exponent minus 3 kg you can also write at 0 0.7 kg or 7 exponent minus 2 kg uh, it's your choice there is no uh, harm in it 700 nanosecond can be written as you have to convert it into picosecond right so 700 nanosecond first step is you will be eliminating nano from seconds so it will become 700 exponent minus 9 seconds now if you want to convert it into pico as I've already told you pico is exponent minus 12 so the prefix which you want to add with the unit the value of it must be divided by the magnitude so the magnitude is 700 exponent minus 9 you will divide uh, the value of pico with the magnitude to add pico in the unit so it will become 700 exponent minus 9 divided by the value of pico which is exponent minus 12 when you will simplify this it will become 700 exponent 3 picoseconds this is another example in which nanometer cube is converted into millimeter cube as I have already told you before changing the unit you have to eliminate the first unit 27 nano nano means exponent minus 9 now it is cube so it will become 727 uh, exponent minus 27 because minus 9 multiplied by 3 becomes minus 27 so 27 exponent minus 27 meter cube right now in order to add milli in it you have to divide the magnitude with the value of milli but it's not just milli it's millimeter cube so you will not divide it by exponent minus 3 you will divide it by exponent minus 9 because minus 3 if cubed becomes exponent minus 9 after simplification you will get 27 exponent minus 18 millimeter cube similarly if you want to convert 9 millimeter cube to micrometer cube you have to eliminate milli from this so it will become 9 exponent minus 9 now in order to add micrometer cube so micro is exponent minus 6 but it's cube so it will become minus 18 so divide uh, the magnitude which is 9 exponent minus 9 by the value of micrometer cube so it will become exponent minus 18 after simplification you will get 9 exponent 9 micrometer cube so this was the first lesson I hope you, uh, you 
you have great great understanding of prefixes and conversions and what is a base physical what is physical quantity what is base physical quantity and what must be part of uh, the expression in order to make it a physical quantity if you have any questions regarding these uh, two topics physical quantity prefixes and its conversions feel free to ask and comment thank you